So I thought the best way to explain the work of the area panels was to take you to a couple of our completed projects so you could see the great work for yourselves. So we're at block 1 to 17 Lethbridge Road in Paston. Over the past month we've done some major works to the outside area of this block through the area panel project. Previously we didn't have anything outside apart from broken tarmac and some sheds. We've now removed the broken tarmac and provided some turf area which is obviously a great outside green space for the residents, also attracts wildlife to the area and provided some seating and drying facilities so the residents now have a space that's outside that they can use to their benefit and enjoy. How did the residents get involved in this project? Well here at Lethbridge Road the residents were really positive um, and really wanted the project to go ahead and they were involved in the actual project design as well and here at Lethbridge Road a few of the residents came back with alterations to the plans um, which we were able to incorporate for them so what you see outside today is what the residents helped us to design. How long does it take for an area panel project to be complete? 
For when an area panel project is identified through to when the work starts on site, that can be anything between six to eight months, and that's due to the consultation process needing to be followed and the project designs being approved. The actual work on site can be as short as anything between two to four weeks, and that's because we try to keep the work on site to a minimum to reduce any inconvenience to the residents. The Cross Keys Homes Incredible Edible Project has moved onto the Olive Branch Community Allotments in Dogsthorpe. We worked in partnership with Groundwork to deliver a three-week green skills training course. This included site clearance, creating three raised beds for Cross Keys Homes tenants to use, along with a rain harvester. This practical experience of working on real projects helped members of the group to obtain their CSCS cards. This card is proof of competence and provides a contractor with health, safety and environmental test results as well as the qualification gained by the holder. It's a really big help if you're looking for a job. The project was handed over to the Olive Branch organisers who are really pleased with the outcome. Work will continue and Cross Keys Homes will be looking at other projects like this. Moving Incredible Edible onto allotments and improving the job prospects for our tenants is a great double win. The Eastern Area Panel was asked by the Woodfield Park Millennium Green Trust to assist with a bid to the environmental resource provider, REN, to create an accessible pathway around the park. The panel had already decided to create a project in the Welland area that focused on younger people. The new path around Woodfield Park provided a great opportunity. The area panel suggested that wooden climbing equipment could be placed every 100 metres around the path to create a gym trail. Cross Keys Homes contributed more than £15,700 to the Woodfield Park project.
when I first um, learned about the area panels, I didn't actually realise that it was the tenants that got involved. Um, I thought it was people that worked for Cross Keys that um, did all the organising and all that sort of thing, but they actually um, got all the tenants involved um, and they were able to help with the planning and things like that as well. I was really surprised to see actually how good some of the area panels were. When I first heard about them I thought they'd be minor improvements such as like mowing the lawn, improving the gardens, um, but when I went there I actually saw that some of them are really big projects. They've put down new gardens, they've put down patio areas, they've put in planters, there are benches, there are washing lines that the residents are actually using and some of them look completely different. Um, it affected the tenants large, uh, quite largely uh, purely because um, there wasn't a lot of room uh, to do different things um, and now there's been new grass laid and um, there's a lot more area for people to do things um, so people can come out and socialise in the gardens um, on the new seating that's been put there for them and um, there's also the chance to hang out in the washing when it's nice outside um, and it's, there's a chance for um, them to sit outside and enjoy the weather as well um, and enjoy the wildlife that will, um, it will now attract. I think Shanice and Alex had a brilliant time coming out and about visiting our area panel projects and I think from their reactions when we visited the different types of projects they were really surprised about the extent of the work that we actually do. Um, obviously the projects are a success because of the involvement of tenants, Cross Keys Home staff and our partnering agencies and it would be really great if we could get some, some younger people involved in our projects so we can get their views on board and hopefully now Shanice and Alex have been out with us they will be strongly promoting the work that we do to younger people to increase their involvement.